Matthew chapter 28. We will do uh, we will we'll do more of prayer as we hear the word. Uh, on Tuesday we dealt with the uh, prayer. Yesterday we dealt with the, we have been talking about service. Why why are you here? Why do you why do you think God has given you an opportunity? Kwa nini Mungu amekupatia nafasi ya kuwa katika kanisa hili na kuwa marsabit wakati kama huu? And we said you better know where we may to we nini. And then this morning nataka to in Matthew chapter 28 Leo nataka to deal in the three areas of uh, of excellence in church. Uh, in Matthew 28 from verse 18, and the Bible says, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Fa baba tunakushukuru kwa neno lako. Tunomba buwano ukatuongoze, ukanene nasiro mtakatifu. Tunakuitaji ya subuhi ya leo. Tunasema sante buwana kwa kila umoja wetu. Buwana na wale wanaskiriza. Wale ambao wako life ugo tunaomba. Mahali walipo buwana wakapate mkate wao wa subuhi hii. Buwana mkate ukasibishe mwiri, ukasibishe roho. Kwa jina ra yesu, tumioma na kuamini. Amen. This morning I want us to talk of three areas of excellence in the church. And one area is what we call church growth. And the Bible says, go therefore and make disciples. One of the areas that we as a church, we have to put effort is to evangelize. Amen. We as the body of Christ, Yesu haku tuambia tungoje wa shirika hapa kanisani. Mungu aliambia tutoke kwa nyumba. Tuende kule inje, tukahubiri injiri. In Acts, 1, 1, uh, uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, And when you shall receive power, you will be my witness. All of us have been called to go out and witness. Tumeitwa, tumeokolewa, na tumejazwa na roho mtakatifu, na tuko na jukumu moja, Ya kwenda inje kuambia wale wengine Ya kwamba yesu ni buwana na aliwakufia musarabani That is a command It is not a request It is a command that each one of us Must participate in church growth Hallelujah This building need to be full This church need to have more people Because they are out there Na wanangoja tu mtuende awambie Ya kwamba yesu anawapenda Amen In the Acts of Apostles in chapter 6 verse 7 the bible says and the word of god increased and the number of the disciples multiplied amen you know disciples don't make themselves we are taught to go and make disciples we are taught to go and evangelize and bring them in amen we are taught go out and preach and we preach the word of god hallelujah and this is not the responsibility of pastor alone. One of the big uh, failure of the church of Jesus Christ is to assume that the work of evangelizing, the work of going out to preach the gospel, the work of bringing members to fill the church is the work of the pastor. No. All of us, including pastor, including myself as I preach, we are called to be witness. We need to go out there and witness to people. Tell them that Jesus needs them. Jesus died for them. Amen. And you know, brethren, the Bible says in Isaiah 55 verse 11, that the word of God, when you speak it, it must fulfill the purpose. Amen. What we only need, brethren, is to be, to go out Hallelujah. It's to go out brethren. And you don't need to know much. You can even share your testimony. One of the way of evangelizing. It is not even to carry a big Bible and to say a lot of things. It's just to share your testimony with somebody. 
who you were who you were before you met him and what he has done for you amen that one doesn't require even for you to go to the bible school it doesn't no it doesn't you have a testimony now each one of us has a personal testimony anytime i go to evangelize that is one of my entry points i tell people one time i didn't know god wakati moja sikujua mungu na nawaambia maisha yangu nilikuwa kichwa ngumu nilikuwa mkatili nilikuwa mwenye dhambi nilikuwa mrevi that's a personal testimony amen and that is mine nobody can refute your testimony and after you tell them that you tell them and you know one time i heard the word of god and i realized i was a sinner amen you are you are evangelizing through your testimony i heard the word of god being preached and as i listened to the word i realized i was a sinner and jesus died for me and the day i that day i accepted that i was a sinner and i needed the savior jesus christ in my life amen and that day when i said yes i realized that i needed jesus in my life he forgave me and the bible said that i became a new creature second corinthians 5 chapter 17 if anyone is in christ he is a new creation the old is gone the new has come bwana yesu asifue you don't even to have a big bible you just need to know your testimony amen and you share your testimony with the people the people that you work with the people that you meet you share with them because the work of bringing in more people is our responsibility amen it is a command jesus said go therefore hallelujah we are supposed to go there is a lot of comfort inside here ndani hapa kumejaa comfort watu wanafurahia wimbo watu wanafurahia ushirika na vile tunafurahia tukiwa wachache wale wengi wako kule nje wanatungoja amen it is my prayer this morning that as a member of this church ya kwamba utachukua jukumu ya kila wiki kuongea na mtu mmoja kila wiki ombea mtu mmoja and target ya kwamba utaenda kumpatia ushuhuda wako na ukimpatia ushuhuda wako hata asipokubali at least umemwambia Yesu ni nani na kwa nini anahitaji Yesu na umemwelekeza kwa kanisa hili Bwana Yesu asifue and you know for you to do that you must be where the people are your presence is needed hallelujah you know in Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 the bible says we are the salt and the light of the world we are not the salt and the light of the church unajua saa nyingine tunakuwa tu hapa ndani tumechemuka chemuka tunahitajika twende huko nje tuliambia we are the salt of the and the light of the world twende nje wakaonje amen twende nje tuonjeshe hallelujah this the the, the 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 love of god you must be there in their presence after you pray for them after like today we are going to pray that we will get that passion we will be uh, 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 the, the fire will be ignited in us to go and tell people we 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 pray and we move amen and we don't need to wait for the pastor to to plan for that i told my brother in the worship you can even do a worship experience out here out here you move these speakers and put them out there one sunday afternoon or the day that you know there are many people talk to the to the drivers of the pro box they give you like a small space and put to worship don't do many thing and after about one hour of worship the pastor stand and share the word for 10 minutes amen the problem is that we are so comfortable inside and jesus is telling us go 
And let me tell you, when the disciples went out, the Bible says, the word of God grew and the disciples were added daily. Amen. One of the pillars of church is to evangelize. Amen. And you cannot evangelize here in the church. We are spending a lot of time in church. So we must be the salt. We, must, we are called to be the salt out there. Hallelujah. And you know, when you are out there and living as a Christian, as a believer, they will watch your life. And they will see whether what you say is who you are. What else is it? Let me tell you, there are people that, myself, mimi nidivutua kwa yesu, na mwali mumoja alikuwa staff room na mimi. Alikuwa nafanyia desk yake, alikuwa kwa kona. Na nilikuwa na muangalia vile anapanga vitu zake. Wakati walimu tunapigania chai ye hastuki. Mara nyingi haku wanakunywa chai. Sisi tukienda pale na mikate, unachukua mikate tatu, unaweka chai. By the time Mr. Wambua aamuki anakuta mikate imeisha, anakuta chai nusu. Na haku wananugunika. Angalia huu jamana uliza. Why is so different? He lived his Christian life. Lunch inafika. Kwanza wakati kuna ugali na nyama. Kila mtu anachota kama hakuna mtu mwingine. Mwalimu bado wako pale kwa kona. He lived a life that I also admired. If as a Christian you live your life as a believer, people will see God in you and they will desire to have that God. So one of the command is go out and make disciples. Amen. Go and evangelize. And then number two, if you are going to in, 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 in sharing this word, we must persuade them. Amen. We are called to persuade them. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the Bible says, verse 11, and we persuade them. 5, 11. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 11. And it says, let me read for you that. Knowing that therefore the terror of the Lord we persuade men but we are well known to God and I also trust are all well known in your conscience. We persuade men that there is hell. Amen. There is judgment. Praise be to God. We make a choice that we are going to tell men in the world that if we, re if we reject Jesus there is judgment. There is hell. And by the way, hell was created by God. You, you choose heaven, he will have you, you, you reject him, you have a place to live. We persuade men that there is judgment. Praise be to God. So in number one, we are saying one area of excellence of the church is to witness, is to evangelize. Our church, we, church is not like a butchery where the, the butchers slaughter the, 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 goat, the goat or the, the cow and they hang the meat there and they wait for customers. No. We are told to go. Amen. We are told to leave our comfort zone. Na, me, na wa kristu wengi hatutaki kutoka hapa. Hatutaki. Tunataka tu kungoja wa shirika wa letwe. Na tunasema kanisa haikui. Uh -uh. Kanisa haieskui sababu we mwenyewe hauendei wale wanataki. Ah. Wana yesu asifue. So one area is that we must go out is an area of church growth. And it can't happen. mpaka tuende. Number two, Jesus said, where we have read, teaching them. So we are called to disciple people. Amen. So the next area of excellence of the church is to teach people the word. Spiritual growth is evidence. When we win souls into God's family and help them to learn the word of God. Amen. One pillar ambayo lazima tuweke mkazo ni kufundisha watu neno. Ni kufundisha watu neno wajue huyu mungu ambayo waliamini. Yeye ni nani? Anataka tuwe na mnagani. This pulpit, this is a university of God. Amen. And when you see anybody who does not want to be taught, 
he will not help the body of Christ. Because it is through teaching that you are equipped. Paul says in Ephesians 4 verse 12 that perfecting the saint for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ. Ephesians 4 12. It is from this altar that we are perfected. We sit down and hear the word. Praise God. We sit down and we are taught. I'm so amazed by people these days. If you look at the people who are working in the government, in the hospitals, in the NGOs, every time they are having refresher courses, you hear there is a new model of managing NGO. And you hear there is a seminar in Anyuki. And a lot of money is spent to update them. Let me tell you, brother and my sister, you need to be updated daily with this word, with the doctrine of the kingdom. Hallelujah. We are having challenges with the way we are practicing Christian. The other day I was talking to a young man who has decided he does not need to marry in church. Look at the guy, you realize. Uyu ni mtu ambaye hajasomeshwa neno. Hata kama hakuna harusi, si utakatifu iko. Si utakatifu iko kwa Biblia. Bana Yesu asifue. You realize that we have people who are in church, but they don't know what they believe in. They don't know the God they believe in. And this can only happen, brethren, when we sit down and we are taught. That is why you need to buy a new, uh, a good and uh, notebook and a pen. Never attend church without a place to write. Our God is another. Our God is the writer. Amen. He has written the Bible. So even us, we need to be taking notes. Don't trust your, 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 your mind. A man called John Haggai says, a small pencil has a wronger memory than your mind. A short pencil has a wronger memory than your mind. Don't be cheated that you can capture everything that is said here. If you look at this, this, this notebook, I have not even for 2013 here. I bought things. This thing is 2013, I think, February. This thing has rusted. And I don't feel like buying a new one. I want to remain because it has only one purpose. It's a notebook. It's where I write my notes. Wherever I go, when I'm seated down and I'm hearing the word, I write my notes here. Praise God. And recently, I was reviewing my notes. And the Lord opened my eyes as I re, uh, remember a message that was preached in 2015. Me deriving the vision of the church. Somebody, he was not preaching about that. He was saying God needs people who can deliver. Then when I was renew, going through those notes, the Lord opened my eyes and I found myself in Exodus. Amen. That God appointed two women during the time of Pharaoh. Two midwives who God used to save the boys of the, the, uh, uh, of the Jews. Sifra and Pua. Praise God. A message that was preached many years ago. I was just going through. Because I always review what I have heard. Praise God. So I encourage you, my brother, wherever you are, always have a good notebook. Don't buy kasuku. Buy a notebook like the one with my sister here. Let me see this one. Uh, you can lie. You, you, uh, hey, look at this one. Something that you are, you'll be proud even carrying. Where you can write things that you like to remember. So that when you'll be reviewing those notes, you will be instructed. Hallelujah. The Rocco Church is the place where we are taught the word. Amen. This is the place. That is why you should not be missing the services. If there is a service in the midweek, attend, capture something. If there is a, a home Bible church or the cell group, attend. You get one word, a point that will help your life. Amen. So we are called to sit down and be taught the word. 
Because if we are going to go out and win people and even represent Christ, we must know what we believe and whom we believe. Amen. So I've said we have three pillars this morning and we are going to wake up in a very short while to pray. So number one was winning souls. We must go out. Number two is teaching. And the devil does not want Kenyans to be taught. And you know, our concentration span has gone down according to the research. It is almost now three minutes. Yes. Look at that the clips that have been sent at the TikTok and Facebook, you will not see a clip that is more than three minutes. And check with the, uh, with the advertising companies. The concentration span is so low. And you know why? We are not reading. Kenyan's culture of reading is bad. That is why you remember an example that was given of a pastor who visited a family and he found a check at the dining table and because it was where he was seated he saw the bible and put the check inside there and pushed it and when he left the family said the pastor has stolen the check and they started spreading rumors pastor came for dinner in our house and we lost a check that was on the table and they wakaharibu jina ya mchungaji and when pastor came to know about it he just called them and went back to the house and told them when i found the check here i put it in this bible so it meant that family that bible was just a decoration there it is never touched some time back i was going to dubai and i traveled with a lady and as I, because me, I somehow I open up and, and I share the gospel. And as I started sharing the gospel, because she was a Kikuyu, uh, uh, we started talking. And I, I quoted a verse. And she told me, is that verse in the Bible? I told her, yes. So she stood and removed her bag and got the Bible from her bag, carrier bag. And in the Bible, she gave me the Bible. And as I opened the zip, I found so much dollars inside there. And I asked her, why did you put that, this a lot of the money here? She told me, this thing, even if it falls down in Kenya, many of Kenyans will not touch it. That's a kikuyu. She told me, pastor, because I told, she is, I'm told, she is a, I told her I'm a pastor. She told me, I know, even if I forget these things at the airport, Many Kenyans will not touch it. Because we don't read. And I asked you, I don't know whether it was Tuesday or yesterday. When last did you read a book? When last did you buy a book? Praise God. Because, yes, yeah, it was last night to December. Embrace learning. Amen. Embrace learning. Learning is costly. Amen. You know, you must have a Bible, you must have a book you are reading, you must be empowered, you must be taught. Praise God. And many Christians cannot sit here. Some of them are know it all. But when you go to the way they are practicing their faith pastor, it is pathetic because they don't have the values of the kingdom. It is during the teaching that we receive the values of the kingdom that we stand for. Amen. Number three, the three area of excellence in church is the area of giving. Amen. In um, I read a verse yes, in Exodus 36 verse 3. The Bible says they received from Moses all the offering the Israelites had brought to carry out the work of constructing the sanctuary. The Revite received the offering that were brought to church for the work of the ministry. Amen. One of the next period that we need to believe God for excellence to grow is the area of giving. Amen. Let me tell you, brethren, this morning, hear me. Anointing without resources is very, is very frustrating. Anointing without resources is very frustrating. Yani upako, kuna upako mwingi, mukona kuomba kwingi, 
lakini hakuna pesa ya kutimiza maono is very frustrating amen it's very frustrating and if we are going to fulfill the dream the vision of god one of the thing we need is resources amen we need money we need people hallelujah and what is the importance of giving for us number one, giving is a form of worship giving is a worship what we offer to god willingly is an expression of our worship we must learn to give as a way of worship we are not tipping god god is not poor it is a, a door he has opened for us to worship him amen we give because we know all things come from him why should we give it because it enriches our life giving enriches our life hmm? when you give when you give you receive it enriches our life number 3 giving sustain the work you are giving and my giving sustain the work of god you partake in financing the ministry hallelujah you you partake in, in ensuring that this vision is going, the evangelism is going, the outreach to the needy is going. It is through the, our giving that we ensure the work of Jesus Christ continues. Amen. The church of Macedonia, though they were poor, but they continued to give to Paul and to the apostles so that they can continue preaching the gospel. Let me tell you, brother, be a partaker of this work through giving. The more we pray, the more we give. The more we evangelize, the more we give. Amen. Yes. Mm. Because there is, I said, I said here on Tuesday, you know, Jesus paid the price, but we pay the bills. Amen. Jesus went to the cross and paid the price of our sins. But the bills of doing this great work, we are going to pay as members of this church. Amen. And I want to encourage even partners, wherever you are, participate in this great work. We are elevating, we are lifting up an altar of God in Masabi town, a Pentecostal church, a praying church, a Bible-based church in this town. I encourage you to partner with this church to do the work of ministry. Praise be to God. Why do we give? It helps us to prevent covetousness. Many people worship money. Many people worship money. Mm. Many people make God of their money and possession. Mm. And the Bible says, Exodus 23, you shall have no other God. So when we give, we are telling money, our money, know that you belong to God. I will not worship you. Unajua kuna, kuna watu wakati wa hawana kitu ni wa Kristo wazuri sana. Wakibarikiwa hawaonekani makanisani. Na ndiyo naona katika makanisa ya kiroho ni ngumu sana kuona matajiri wa, wa koju. Ni wachache. Sababu wakibarikiwa kidogo anaona pasta na musumbua. Na nikagarika moja tu amenunua. Na mahali amepereka ikafanya kazi kuna mwingine yako na tano na bado hajatoka kwa msikiti hata hajatoka kwa kanisa rake. Lakini sisi tu baraka kidogo tu kupandishwa mamlaka unakuwa na kiburi and you start worshiping the money let me tell you kazi huwa inaisha lakini Mungu haishi amen one day my wife used to work with the KCC many years ago siku moja walienda wakakuta imefungwa na kumewekwa askari kwa gate 1997 hawajarudi tena hata hawajalipo hata dururu kazi huwa inaisha na ikiisha kama uliacha Mungu unaanzanga pabaya sana the more you are pressed, the more you need to give. Amen. That you don't worship your position. You don't worship your money. Praise be to God. Givings remind you that what you have is God. And nothing you can get except from God. Number five. Why do we give? Why do we desire this excellence of giving? Giving is an investment that is eternal. Amen. 
Giving is an investment that is eternal. We are putting, we have an account in heaven. When we give to God's work, we, it is credited to our account. Praise be to God. Matthew 6, 19. Where do you invest your resources? The Bible says, where your treasure is, there your heart is. Let me tell you, people who invest in God's work, don't joke with God's work. People who have put their money here, they can't fail to pray for this work. Because they, ha they are giving to God. They have an account in heaven. Work on account. Binguni kuna, kuna, kuna account. Ata kuna account out and naitwa mungu. Hallelujah. So when three areas of excellence. Number one, we said we must go out. Amen. And tell people about Jesus and about his church. Number two, we said we must teach, and teach them and be taught of the word of God. And the other three of area of excellence is the area of ministry. Hallelujah. I think in the Dahosa who said anointing without uh, what is, uh, is it frustrating or what? Anointing, yes, I was looking for that word. Praise be, is it Dahosa who used to say anointing without money is very annoying because you have big plans. This church, you have a big plan. You, I have written to the pastor. I have written to you. You have big plans. For those plans to come to pass, we must have resources. Praise be to God. And we don't have donors. You are the donor. You are the donor. You are the giver. Amen. Hatuna mzungu. Wewe ndiye mzungu wa Yesu. Praise be to God. So I want us to stand on our feet. I want us to pray. Praise be to God. I want us to pray, brethren. We must pray that the, the faith of people, Imani Awatu, will be stirred up. Amen. There will, every spirit of fear will be dealt with. That they will be, they will be excited about going out. Let's stand up on our feet.